Welcome back. So we finally finished the first three sections of this tutorial. Those three were the major part of this tutorial series. The first section included the designs and architecture of this application. The second section included the React router and that was the most important part because the whole aim for this project was to understand the React router and I hope that now you shouldn't have any doubt in React router. Now the third section was understanding the React portals. I know if you start checking out the documentation online, you might get a little bit confused. And again, a lot of people say and explain React portals in such a way that it becomes a little difficult to understand. But I hope that after seeing the previous videos, you were able to completely understand what is React portal and why do we need React portal? What are the use cases when we use React portals? Now this is the fourth section where we are going to implement the designs for the remaining sections or the remaining pages which are the four pages about me, projects, skills and content. So just a little disclaimer here that most of the remaining videos are just going to be CSS. So as you can see we have used heavy designs here so these are some really cool designs so this is not some uh, basic level design i would say this is an intermediate level design so i would highly highly and very highly recommend that if you don't know flexbox please 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 do go to my youtube channel which is youtube.com slash the lean programmer and then go to the playlist section and check out my complete flexbox tutorial playlist so that would really help you a lot trust me but in case you still want to follow along i am really happy but Still, I would definitely recommend you to see the Flexbox tutorial because we are going to make a heavy use of Flexbox here. Everything is going to be Flexbox. All right, so that was just a little disclaimer that most of the remaining things are CSS now. We have already understood all the things about React, React Router and React Portals that we wish to use in this tutorial. So now this fourth section is Super CSS series. Perfect. So let's come to the about section and start building the about page in this video we are going to finalize again this might go a little bit long because we are using a lot of styles here so yes it might go a little bit long but you will be able to do this so let before i get started just a little bit of x uh, thing here so as you can see in all of the pages in about me in projects as well as in skills and contacts we have something in common that is the heading the subheading and the footer link these three things are common so to reuse these elements i am going to extract these out into a separate component and i'm going to call that the first one as header and the second one as footer link perfect so let's get started let's start building our first component which is going to be first of all about and then after that i'm going to start building the header and footer link and then we are going to finalize the about section as well so perfect let's close the index.html and model.css and home as well so let's go to our about page so we already have about open here so this is perfect now we do have the about here first of all let's <clears throat> so in every section so as you can see the layout of every section is more or less the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a class name of let's say section container perfect so this section container and each class so let's let's give it uh, give this class name to almost every page there perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy and paste the section container and the first page was about second page is projects let's go inside projects and give it a class name of section container let's go to skills where is skills here it is and let's give it a class name of section container once again then the remaining one is project is done and contacts yes the contact page i'm going to go inside contact page and give it a class name of section container as well so i'm doing this because in most of the things we have the same layout so i'm going to extract out the outer styling to my app.css component uh, the css style sheet 
and that would apply the styling to all of the section containers uh, section container perfect so first of all as you already know box sizing border box min height you already know that I'm going to provide a min height of 100 VH so that uh, at least it should be 100 uh, view, view height and it can be more than that as well so position is going to be relative and so why is this position relative because our style of this is going to be our uh, background gradient so if this is relative we can absolute position this into being the bottom zero and left zero so that was just a little bit about it and position relative padding is going to be 50 pixels and zero flex direction is going to be column in all of them again display flex is obvious display flex um, and then again uh, we need to align items and justify content both center because uh, we need to align these horizontally and vertically center align items center perfect and in case it goes beyond the page for example uh, in any let's say in any page if it goes beyond so in that case I want to also align content as center perfect and just one last thing here for the small width screens I'm going to provide a media query which is at media and I'm going to provide uh, let's say an only screen and I'm going to provide max width of 640 pixels similar to the other thing that we already saw in the last section perfect section container I'm going to give it a padding of 100 pixels top and bottom and 0 pixels left and right so as you can see in the bigger screen sizes the padding can be 50 pixels but in the small screen sizes it has to be 100 otherwise it will overlap with the uh, with this uh, nav bar so perfect as you can see we have did an overall alignment inside our app.css as well and that is applied to every page out there that is applied to projects skills and contact perfect so now we are done with the first step of our application now let's start building our header component header component is very very simple once again let's go inside the about section and first of all let's build a new component itself i'm going to call it header and let's build a header.jsx and let's also build a header.css so i'm going to move it at the side i'm going to create the header as a functional component and so as you know we don't so this is a this is going to be a very very simple component this is we don't need to add a class for this so this is going to be a very very simple component perfect first let's also import the style sheet for this as well header.css and this is going to be a stateless function component with the name header and the props is going to I'm going to include the heading and the subtitle in the props so I'm going to call it heading and details this is very very simple and what I'm going to call this container as header container and inside the header container I'm going to pass the h1 as heading and the p as details perfect that's it that's it so we are done with the first section first thing that is header but it's also going to involve quite a lot of styles so let's get started so header first of all this header container class header hyphen container i'm going to do it very quickly so till now i believe you must have gotten the habit of it so flex direction column and i'm going to do an align items of center and I'm, then I'm going to do a width of 60% and then I'm going to do an align self of center perfect so after doing this I am going to do a header container and inside that I'm going to do an h1 so basically the h1 that is present inside header container that should be so again font style should be normal font weight should be 500 not too bold but bold font size can be um, 2 ms yeah that's fine so again this is not a styling course so uh, you can put whatever you want but it should not look too bad so yes or rather let's keep it 2.9 ms 
that should be better perfect and then let's give it a line height okay i have already written that so let's uh, line height is 57 pixels perfect so let's also give a text align center after that we can give a letter spacing as well let's give it a letter spacing of 0.2 pixels perfect let's give it a color of hashtag 000 and let's give it a margin of zero this is completely perfect now for the header com container and the p inside the header container first of all i'm going to give it a font family i'm going to give it a different form font family so for the head to h1 it's going to be poppins but for the p i'm keeping it mont as i told you in the previous section as well mont serrat so i don't know how to pronounce that but that's a really cool font family so font style again normal and then font weight is going to be normal once again and then font size font size i'm going to keep it as 1.4 ms and let's keep the line height to be exactly the same 1.4 m perfect and text align center is that goes without saying margin is going to be 10 pixels top and bottom zero pixels left and right perfect and now the only final thing remaining is to adjust it according to small size perfect so for small uh, only screen and for max width 640 pixels again you know the play now you know the game now so header container is going to be of width 80 percent so you already know uh, we want to provide it a max width of 80 percent and then the p tag that's present inside it header container p is going to be of font size i'm going to reduce the font size a little bit here i'm going to keep it 1.2 ms and for the line height i'm going to keep it 1.2 ms as well perfect so let's have a look at it look at it so i did not include the header right now so we also have to include it obviously so inside the about container i am going to remove this thing and i'm going to add a header and i'm going to pass on the props which is heading heading is going to be about me i'm going to pass the details as uh, details I, i'm just going to copy and paste for from here you can add whatever you want it's it's your profile it's your portfolio so you can just go ahead with anything that you want perfect so as you can see this is super cool we have already completed the first part of it now second part we could obviously we could go ahead with the sort of footer link but i am planning to first go with the sort of vector frame that you see here this vector uh, that is visible here this is super cool so i am liking it so first of all let's quickly get done with the vector frame that's going to be cool perfect so that's going to be that's going to remain at the bottom of the screen so i'm just going to add it here vector frame perfect so let's add it let's first of all wrap it inside a div i'm going to call it as vector frame and inside that i'm going to include an image so this image is going to be about vector so about vector is basically taken from about vector.png which is inside our assets so if you go inside assets there is this about vector.png this thing so i'm going to use this here so let's include it very quickly let's import it import about vector from dot slash dot, dot slash up one directory up one directory as well assets and then about what was the name of it about underscore vector dot png perfect about vector dot png huh, that's fine uh, so this video is going to be a little bit long as you might have guessed because i already told you it's all css here it's nothing no uh, no as such a uh, huge difficult thing it's just the simple css so i'm going to import the image src is going to be my about vector and then class name let's give it as about hyphen vector yes and we can give it an alt text as well as let's say about something like that simple as that so let's see how it looks like right now so it looks like this what we want to do is align it at the bottom left perfect let's go inside let's see first of all it's including about.css yes it is included including about.css 
So let's quickly jump on to the about.css. Where did it go? Here it is. I'm going to position this absolute as I told you. So this is directly a child of section container. Section container is of height 100 VUH, min 100 VUH, and that is of position relative. And this is of position absolute. So I hope you're understanding the game now. And I'm going to place the Z index as minus 10. So it's going to be below the stack. So left is going to be zero, bottom again zero width let's place it 55 percent that's perfectly fine and then let's style the about vector as well let's keep it display block let's give a max height of let's say 100 percent let's give a max width of 100 percent once again and that should be it let's also provide some uh, sort of again the same thing let's provide the sizes are uh, the styles for small width screen size perfect that looks cool let's remove this header container thing from here and let's add the vector frame inside this so for the vector frame i am planning to go with a width of 90 percent instead of 55 percent because small screen sizes we want it to look large perfect this looks completely fine and see this is the magic we are done with first half of this so max width is 640, not 640, we should be 640 pixels. And here as well, it should be 640 pixels. And now that should fix it. So as you can see, it is covering 90% of the width. This is cool, this is perfect. And now in the next video, we are going to apply these elements and we are going to make the footer link as well. See you in the next video. Bye bye.